Today is Monday, March 1st, 2021. It's 9.26 a.m. and I'm calling Intoxilac, the horrible company that got me by the short hairs. Thank you for calling Intoxilac. Press 1 for English or press 2 for Spanish. Thank you for calling in Toxaloc. Please hold while we look up your account. Okay, now let's make sure we have the right account. Please enter your date of birth. For example, if your date... Your account has a balance due of $31.85. The last payment received was for $80.49 on Friday, February 19th. Your calibration date is Monday, April 19th, 2021. We show that you are currently in a lockout. Your lease agreement needs to be signed. To repeat this information, press star. Are you calling about your lockout? If yes, Press 1. Otherwise, press pound. It is important to understand what causes lockouts and what you can do to avoid them. Would you like to receive information about frequently asked lockout questions? No. Eight. If yes, press 1. If no, press 2. To return to the main menu, is your handheld device currently displaying a lockout message? If yes, press 1. If no, Press 2. We are experiencing longer than no normal kidding, hold times. Skip the wait by requesting lockout resets through the Intoxilock mobile app. With the app, you can also learn how to prevent lockouts with access to our extensive knowledge library. One moment while we connect you with a customer service representative. Your call may be monitored and recorded for quality and training purposes. Your feedback is appreciated. Please stay on the line after your call for a brief survey. Your feedback is appreciated. Please stay on the line after your call for a brief survey. Did you know Intoxilock has a VIP program for you and your attorney? Ask your Intoxilock representative about signing up today. Accidents happen. Ask your Intoxilock representative about signing up for our device protection program today. Thank you. 
Your feedback is appreciated. Please stay on the line after your call for a brief survey. Intoxiloc has a VIP program for you and your attorney. Ask your Intoxiloc representative about signing up today. happen. Ask your Intoxiloc representative about signing up for our device protection program today. is appreciated. Please stay on the line after your call for a brief survey. Intoxiloc has a VIP program for you and your attorney. Ask your Intoxiloc representative about signing up today. happen. Ask your Intoxiloc representative about signing up for our device protection program today.
your feedback is appreciated. Please stay on the line after your call for a brief survey. Intoxilock has a VIP program for you and your attorney. Ask your Intoxilock representative about signing up today. happen. Ask your Intoxilock representative about signing up for our device protection program today. is appreciated. Please stay on the line after your call for a brief survey. Hi, this is Lynette. And may I ask who I'm speaking with? Did you say your name is Lynette? Yes. Okay. My name is Richard. Good morning, Richard. Is your address in Almont and phone number still current? Yes. How can I help you regarding a lockout this morning? Or? Ma'am, your company is so messed up. I can't keep. I can't keep up with you. Um, I, I had this, I had this, this device installed last Monday. Um, I, mm -hmm. I talked to, I talked to Trent, the sales manager who made me the offer. So I've had, um, I've had nothing but trouble. I, I had it installed Monday and I had nothing but trouble trying to get it to work. I finally got it to work yesterday and I called in Toxalock and I spoke with a woman named uh, Sandra and uh, I, w I started looking over your lease and you're, you're telling me, you, you're saying, uh, when I go to the website, it says I'm on a lockout. When I, uh, when I tried calling, it says you're in a lockout. Then when I, I called and talked to your, I called your 800 number. I spoke to a woman named Sandra and she says, that's impossible. You're not in a lockout. You're not in a lockout. I said, it says I'm in a lockout all over. What's going on? And, and I said, I, I need to speak to a supervisor. She said, call back tomorrow. I said, I, I need to know now. And she hung up on me. 
Now, then I would go to your lease and your lease that I'm supposed to sign or, or, you, or you're going to lock me out is, is all wrong. And uh, I called and had it corrected once. And um, now when I go to sign the lease, it's $374 difference from what I agreed to. And you're, and, uh, you're signing me up for 13 months on a, on a 12 month commitment. I'm only, I, I'm only, I have to have this on legally for 12 months. You're charging me for, thir for 13. You're charging me for all kinds of fees that I never agreed to. And I spoke to Trent, the sales manager, when we, when we cut the deal. Now, I, you want me to sign the lease. I'm not signing a piece of paper that's, that's fraudulent. This is fraud, ma'am. I understand where you're coming from. This cause, um, I could see where you're seeing it that way. Under terms and conditions, I just want you to know that it does state in there that um, and when your time is done, because we do not know when that is, when, we, when you call us and say you are done and you're able to remove, we put a closing on the account. And when the state authorizes you, it says in there, there is no early termination fee unless you just, unless you void the contract because you just don't want it to do more. But not if you can fulfill the state's requirement in the terms and conditions. No, ma'am. Here's what it says. Um, and we don't need any authorization in Michigan. Here's what it says. Total payments. The amount you will have paid by the end of the lease, including sales tax and difference. And, and, uh, and you're telling me that I have to pay $1,626.73. And, and what it says is says um, it says your first lease payment of fifty six seventy and and the payment is wrong the the uh, I I I was told by Trent the sales manager I agreed to one hundred and six dollars a month that's that's uh, fifty two ninety nine bi weekly now what it says is your lease says. 26 payments of 56.17. I didn't agree to 56.17. I agreed to 52.99. So again, I can have it looked at and see if it can be changed. Um, yes, it's going to show you 13 months of payments because that's what the lease is for, as you know, and that's what your argument is as of today. So right now, and in, in the under terms and conditions. Uh, but I'm going to see if we can change it, of course. Uh, I'll reach out. Uh, no worries, here, but I just want you to know that under terms of conditions. Here's the, here's, here's the, um, ma'am, here's the deal. I'm not a lawyer, and, and uh, I don't have time to be studying this and uh, going through and fighting you at this point. i got too many things on my plate. I've got to go. I've got to take a road test tomorrow. And... Uh, I'm not going to I'm not signing this stupid lease until I understand it and you can't cheat me. You can't tell me I agreed to 52.99 not 56.17. I didn't agree to any fees or any additional fees or charges and you're charging me for $80.99. I you talk to Trent the sales manager. Do you, do you know him? No, but I'm reaching out to who I need to my supervisor to um let them research that and see if they can get that because that would be the only way I can get it changed I nobody in customer service can change a lease so the only per so I have to reach out to a supervisor to see if, if we can change that lease it may have to go through compliance because supervisors are only able to do so much when it becomes a state requirement ma'am ma I don't I really don't may be able to change I don't really I, <laughs> so. I don't really care what your problem what your internal problems are ma'am oh, okay. can I tell you something Lynette when I go to your go to your app, go to the Intoxilock app, and it's rated two out of five stars, and then start reading. The last time I read, it, uh, there was 183 uh, complaints. Everybody saying that you cheat people, you you uh, make up charges, and it's impossible to get a hold of you people. And uh, I'm not signing this lease. This. I'm, what this lease says is that I, that I I'm agreeing to total you amount of payments of uh, it's say it's saying that I'm signing a uh, I don't know I'm not go, I'm not going through this again what 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 do we do now when that I agreed. I didn't agree to any. I didn't agree to any charges. And here's another thing: when I called, when I called, it says that I that I owe you money. How could I owe you money? 
I paid bi-weekly. All the charges are in your lease agreement. Ma'am, I don't so want to read. I don't want to read. Your charges, that's not in your agreement. I didn't. I, I, and I didn't. I didn't agree to this. I didn't. The lease agreement. I didn't even have a chance to read until last night. I didn't. I'm not agreeing to anything. I'm agreeing to what your sales manager said. It was going to cost me. That was it. That was it. All it was supposed to be is fifty-two ninety-nine bi-weekly. That's one hundred and six dollars a month. And and uh, I could care less what your what your term said. I agree to what your sales manager agreed agreed to. Let me put. The, I can't call Trent when I try to call Trent. It's impossible. I've got his I've got his extension number and everything. And I and uh, he said if I got it if I have any problems, call you. Call him. When I try calling on my line, all I do is get this this Intaxilock number. I can't get through to your sales manager. To to have him, th this is fraud. I didn't agree to any other charge. When I called, it says I owe like thirty nine dollars. What for? I paid you. I paid. I paid the first payment last Monday. That's bi weekly. That's that's for two weeks. How can I be overdue? Because on the day of installation, you're actually charged a bi-weekly payment on the day of installation. So that bill that you see on your account shows like $120. No, no, no. Stop, and stop, stop, stop. Well, stop. You paid that stop, stop. What Trent told me is, is I, the first payment, my first bi-weekly payment was, was $80, $80. That was it. And then I had to pay $39 for filing. That's it. That was it, and that's what I paid. And that 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 first that first th uh, that first biweekly payment was already paid when it, when I when I paid when I paid for the service when I signed up for it. I, that's already paid. Well, I I was just trying to break it down to you. Um, no, there's no breaking it down. Promotions no, the, out of that hundred. No, there's no. He he made it real simple. He and uh, he he said there's that's all it is. He said he said you give me you give me eighty dollars today and that will be your first two weeks payment and all fees and charges. That's what he said. That's what I agreed to. For your first two weeks. Okay. Yes. And no extra fees okay. or charges or first, anything. Amy. Right, so we took those some of those charges off. It looks yeah, like, and then you put them back on. Uh, that he, you no, may not have no, no, no. You know what? Uh, when I went to when I when I went to your website, it's you took it off, and it said like negative thirty nine. But then when I when I went to it again today, it says that I owe you money. That has nothing to do with me. Well, this has nothing I'm to do to with. Explain it to you. I'm not. I don't want to hear your your hocus pocus. It makes no sense. You you uh, you you can't explain to me what what uh, what's happening. You're just saying here the terms of the lease and the the lease is the the. I can't read this time. I don't. I don't have time to. What do I got to get a lawyer to read this lease so I can get so I can get take my driver's test tomorrow or before you lock me out. I'm not signing anything. I'm not paying anything other than what we agreed to. You want to call, you want to call Trent. Somebody's got to do something because you guys have me a, in a bound, a bind that I, I refuse to accommodate. What your, your company is guilty of fraud, Lynette. And can I tell you something else? No, we're not. Yes. I'm sorry you feel that no. way, Richard. No, can I tell you something? Would you like to speak to somebody else? Somebody that No, here's what I I don't want to listen to any more than what you have to say to me. You're not I'm trying to help you. Okay. You're saying I'm not. I don't know what to do for you, Richard. Okay. Although, although I know you're complaining okay. about stuff, but we have made it right with you, but you're you not haven't you haven't we're trying you to make haven't it right, made with, it right you. with me. Now, here's here's the situation, ma'am. I'm. I'm a. When you ask me a question, you don't let me finish. You cut me off. You so it's like I can't explain anything to you, and it's clearly notated in the account that you don't want to listen to anybody. Because you people don't make sense. So I don't know what else we could do to help. No, you, you know, want it removed out of your vehicle. No, right ma'am. I want you to. I want it. I want the agreement that I made with Trent. And ma'am, I also. I'm an activist. Okay. I, I'm an activist, ma'am. And what I've done is I've and I have the legal right to do this. I've recorded every one of the calls that I've made to your company, including this one. 
Now, what I'm asking you to do, and I'm going to put this on YouTube if I can't get any kind of help because this is fraud. Now, I'll, I will... Sorry, but we're not fraud, and we have done nothing that's fraudulent, Richard. I'm sorry to say. Um, is there anything else I could answer no, or help I, I you with No, I need to know what the lease is. You said that you're going to go back and, and talk to somebody. I didn't agree to... I didn't agree to... Thanks for taking the time to complete our quick survey. Please use your telephone dial pad to select your answers. On a scale of 1 to 5, how satisfied are you with your interaction with the last agent? On a scale of 1 to 5, how satisfied are you with your interaction with the last using 1 for yes and 2 for no? Did we resolve all your questions? On a scale of 0 to 10, how likely are you to recommend our agency to friends or colleagues? Thanks again for your time.